Hello, everyone, and welcome to the NJC AAE Pipeline Tournament here for the spring 2021 season. And my name is Sparky. I will be your host for this tournament. And we are going to kick things off by welcoming the president of Grays Harbor College, Dr. Ed Brewster. And let's bring him on in. Dr. Brewster, how are you doing today? I'm doing just great, Sparky. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Honored to have you here. Well, it's great. It's great, and it's an honor for me to be here. So this is a pretty special thing for uh, for us to be hosting at our little college. Um, and I'd like to um, I'd like to to tell you a little bit about our college. First of all, um, we are celebrating our 90th year of of existence, and that's pretty. Uh, we're one of the oldest colleges in the state of Washington. Our main campus is in Aberdeen, Washington, which is right on the Pacific Coast. Um, we serve about. 3,200 students annually in, in four primary locations in Grays Harbor and Pacific counties, which are the two counties closest or within our service area. We're, and we're located in a beautiful area for outdoor enthusiasts on the Pacific Ocean, and it offers many activities with abundant rivers, lakes, and mountains nearby. So we also have a vibrant arts community, which is supported by outstanding arts programs at the college. We also have strong programs in industrial technology, such as welding, automotive, diesel, carpentry, and then healthcare programs in nursing, medical assisting, and certified nursing assistant. And then also a wide variety of other professional degrees and college transfer programs. So students can come to us and, and do what they need to do to transfer on to a four-year university if they choose to do that. So. This National Junior College Athletic Association Esports Pipeline Tournament is a showcase of the esports talent at community colleges across the nation. You know that. Um, I didn't know as much about it, but the tournament brings together teams um, uh, to celebrate integrity, leadership, and growth of players, teams, and institutions that support them. Collegiate esports is a huge opportunity, and Grace Harbor College is honored to be presenting our very best in support of these student athletes this weekend. We are proud of the success of our esports program and look forward to growing its participation in the coming months and years. So welcome to Grace Harbor College. Enjoy your tournament. Although I do need to take a little bit of time to give a shout out to our esports. So go Chokers and thank you for joining us. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Brewster, for coming in and saying some very amazing words for us all. And we've got a very exciting tournament coming up for you guys. We actually get to see his Grays Harbor College Chokers coming up in the first match of today. So while we have a moment, before we bring in our casters, let's take a look at the bracket for today. So here's a quick peek at how things are looking for round number one. Uh, as you see, Nassau gets the uh, bye win there. Uh, Southwest Oregon unfortunately had to forfeit their match uh, due to some scheduling conflicts, but everybody else is going to be getting started here shortly if they haven't already. Our first matchup, though, is Grays Harbor College versus Gogebic Community College. And at this time, let's welcome in our casters for our match. We've got RJ and Paka. How are you doing, ladies? Are we there? there? All right, so how are you guys doing today? We're feeling great. Happy to be here. All right. Hopefully you guys are excited for some Rock League. So uh, before we send you guys down to the field, let's take a look. Paco, why don't you introduce the Grays Harbor College roster for us? Well, for Grays Harbor, we have Shadowbane, Ghost, and KJ. All right, and then RJ, can you uh, go ahead and introduce the Gogeta Community College roster for us? Yeah, for Gogeta, we have I Love Ducks 43, Gremlins, and Wub. All right, so at this time, we're going to send you guys all down to the HyperX casting booth, down to Champions Field for our first match of the day. Go ahead and take it away, ladies. Thank you very much, Sparky. Looks like we are waiting to hop into the field. But until then, we could do a little recap over the format. Right now, I think we are in the quarterfinals, and this next match is going to be 
quite exciting. It's going to be a best of seven, so it's going to take about an hour to get through. It means we get to see both teams at their full potential. What a it's like the camera is map taking map us on. into Champions Field here. And we picked off Grays Harbor College on the blue team. Uh, Gold Gapia on the orange. So far, we almost have a shot, but not quite. Follow-up by KJ right there to put that ball right in the goal. Then taking advantage of that nice opening there. As we get on to our second kickoff, 4 minutes, 20 seconds, second in. Grays Harbor Good holding on to that ball. lead with the shadow beans, trying to get another one off of the back wall. Just coming in for the follow-up, but ends up turning around. Wub to Gremlins, pushing that one around. KJ onto the back wall again, Ducks pushing that in the back. Shadowbane up to the orange wall again, and Grays Harbor looks like they have a lot of pressure on the board. That was a wonderful setup by KJ right there to allow Ghost to get that ball in between. Took a little advantage of that double commitment to the goal there. Oh, unfortunate Gremlins. Grace Harbor really holding on to that lead as we're kicking off again. KJ pushing that onto the orange side. Wub straight into Ghost. Ball is in the air. Shadowbane and KJ doubling on that. Neither of them can turn it into a shot though. Shadowbane off the wall with a flip off of the ceiling. The pass to Ghost is on the crossbar and it is in. Oh my goodness. Another nice setup by Shadowbane there. Allows Ghost to take that opening and follow through with that goal. Still about three and a half minutes on the clock here. Kickoff looking like it might be another strong one for Grazed Harbor. Shatterbane puts that on to the Gogebic back wall. Can't make the double though. Ghost is there for a follow up again. off with the big lead again this time the kickoff is on the gogebic side so ghost is going to catch that and try to turn it around i love ducks putting it out for love in the middle ghost does steal that ball though and turn it into a fifth goal for ghc my goodness it'll be quite a toughie but it is possible for gogebic to catch up to them in the second half of the game This kickoff looking promising, going off to the middle where Shadow and I Love Ducks have to fight for it. Ducks does get control of the ball, pushing that off the wall, though KJ steals it again. Seems like anytime Gogebic wants to hold on to the ball, there's someone 
on the blue side that ends up taking it as Ghost passes that one to Shadow. It's not a goal yet. I Love Ducks is able to hit that off to the side. So KJ is going to push it right in front of the net again. Wub has a really good clear here. Going to follow up around the corner, but Ghost steals it again. Throws that down the field. Ducks trying to clear it out, but Ghost with another steal and Shadow with the finish. Yeah, a little bit of that double commit there with I Love Ducks and Love and Shadow Bay was able to take advantage of that. But I'm sure they go together can come back. They still have plenty of time. Gremlin's getting full control off of this, off the kickoff, but Ghost is on the ceiling right up to KJ and another great setup. I love Ducks clearing it out, Gremlin and Ducks double committing, gonna try to score this, but Shadow Bane and Ghost push it out. Another dribble from Ghost, flicking that over one member of Gogebic. Only Ducks is back to try and save it, not able to get the touch, but what comes back just in time. Shadow into Ducks right back into the midfield where Ghost is waiting to triple that over Gremlins. This time Wub is able to get the save. KJ bouncing that midfield. I love Ducks stealing it. Might be able to score here, but Ghost coming in right at the last second to side swipe it. Looks like Gogebic is still getting shut out no matter what they try. I love Ducks doing a wonderful job trying to keep control of the ball and getting it into blue. It's a wonderful goal by Shadow Bane as KJ steps it up. And Shadow Bane just follows through, nicking the ball in with the back of the car. Off for the last minute here. Shadow Bane and KJ stealing that from Wub. The ball in front of the orange net. I Love Ducks is able to put it out but can't beat Ghost in the air to the second touch. Ghost again into Wub on the back. This could be dangerous if Shadow gets the touch and they do indeed. Yeah, that demo right there at the last minute or a second really opened up that goal. Ghost took it out. Yeah, good call on the demo there. I didn't even see it. That definitely impacted the play and made it pretty much an open net there. Another kickoff. This time, Bob is going to try and hit it downfield, but can't get the ball off the wall. Instead, Ducks is going to be the one clearing it out, following up on the wall, passing out to the midfield, but Ghost steals that instead of a teammate. Goes with a dribble, Wub steals that again, and it is on target, but KJ clears it out to the corner. Grace Harbor is not looking to be scored on after having nearly a flawless game. I Love Ducks demoing KJ, this could mean something for Gogebic. I Love Ducks making a save off of Shadow Bane's shot. Just 10 seconds left to try and take this game back, even if it's not going to one bike of okay, they, they can still try to get something going, but the ball does touch the ground. That's Gray's Harbor taking game one. Wonderful defense towards the end by Gogebic. Make sure they don't get that next goal. Yeah, they really did stop it from going to a 9-0 scoreline. It seems like at the end of the game we saw Gogebic play a lot better than they did at the beginning. I think they didn't get scored on for a full minute, so... This one up. I love Ducks and Wubs are really good at um, getting the ball out of the net. They've been really good on their defense over there too. And Gremlin's following through as well, trying to get it into the blue side. Yeah, even if they haven't really scored anything on their own, you're right. Uh, Wubs was always back for some kind of weird save, and I Love Ducks was hitting the ball off the wall. And if we're looking at the Grays Harbor side, it's pretty hard to decide who's a star player since they all uh, played a part in the eight goals. For sure, for sure. Um, and I love seeing those demos too. That demo clearing for the goal was really interesting to see. 
I'd say it was a little violent too, but it does work out, and we only saw one demo coming out from the orange side, so maybe in the next game they can try and use that to their advantage too, instead of just having Grey's Harbor be the ones demoing. Uh, for sure, I'm definitely looking forward to more demos, and hopefully we can get an Equalizer game in there for one of these sets. <laughs> We will have to see. It looks like it is a bit of a blowout, but anything is possible, especially with the comeback that we kind of saw. More of a defensive comeback than an offensive comeback. They had a very strong defense towards the end, preventing um, Grace Harbor getting that goal. So hopefully they can keep that up. More of that, and they will be good to go. Are you looking forward to anything in these upcoming games? Hmm. Well, you said demos, so that sounds pretty good. Though, I would like to see Gogebic score, and maybe I'd like to see Grays Harbor see how their defense stands up, because we haven't really had the opportunity to see them defend that much. So we could kind of compare the team's defenses, like how we were just comparing their offenses. For sure. I would like to see... Uh, Grace Harbor on the defense once in a while. I believe that uh, Gogepic might need to... They're a little bit scrambled at the moment, so tightening their rotations up may be helpful for them in these upcoming games. Yeah, that's some good advice. Maybe they need to work on their comms. Seems like they did double commit a few times, and maybe if they just called the ball when they went for it, they would have less problems with having everyone out of position, but that's pretty hard to do, because Grays Harbor plays really fast. For sure. So you're from Montgomery Community College. Do they have a team in this tournament today? I don't believe we are competing today, but upcoming in the season, perhaps been a while since I've that been on the Rocket League good. team, so I'm a little out of You're the good. loop, unfortunately. I mean, I'd say that being on the Rocket League commentary is better than being on the Rocket League team, so... Of course! I don't have to be stressed out or worry about calls and being demoed, so... <laughs> yeah. And I get to talk with amazing people, like you, yes. RJ. Ha, thank you, right back at you. Oh, Looks like we're going to be no switching need. to a U.S. East server since uh, I just realized that we have a West Coast team and an East Coast team. So we are getting ready to head to the field for kickoff of our second game. Ghost with another dribble pass two members. Ducks with a pinch to clear it out. KJ with another shot attempt. While pushing that downfield. Ghost to Shadow. Right back to the middle. I love Ducks and Gremlins with a double, but there is a demo on Shadow Bane. A missed touch from Gray's Harbor puts that off to the middle. Shadow Bane still able to get control over there. I love Ducks around the wall, waiting. Gremlin on the ground. It's off the blue backboard, but Ghost reads it perfectly. Clears it out. Love able to steal that and put it on the Grace Harbor backboard again, but Ghost reads it again. Love with a back pass ends up going right to Shadow Vane. A traffic jam in the corner as nobody can make contact. Gremlin finally gets it almost to Ducks. Almost fakes out the defenders, but Ghost is able to save it and clear it and score it. What a nice three-in-one play. My goodness, they took advantage of that nice opening there. That's the right angle. Gremlin's almost knocking it out, but not quite. We can already see that Gogebic is doing better this game. They haven't been scored on for a full minute. So Grace Harbor's looking to change that as KJ comes in with the double off of the kickoff. Doesn't end up working out, but Ghost is there to finish it. For sure, Ghost took advantage of that. Bob's almost getting the ball up, but not quite. Mm -hmm. 
this kickoff looking good for Gogebic. So right back to their side. KJ is going to try and pass that mid. Shadow Bane waiting, but Gremlin does have the read. I love that mystical clear, but Wub is there. Some good teamwork. Ghost and Gremlins fishing that still on the boost pad. KJ demoing Gremlins. I love Duck demoing Shadow Bane. This could be a goal. The member of Gogebic is ready for it, but KJ and Ghost clear that one out. Well, back on the Gogebic side in a potentially dangerous position if nobody can clear it out. KJ's gonna set that up for a teammate. I love Duff puts it back into the corner. KJ puts it back into the center. Gremlin puts it back into the corner. KJ on the backboard to Shadow. This shot is weak enough that it could be saved, but it's also weak enough that KJ was able to beat it and score it. That was just a wonderful angle on KJ's part. Front wheel, air wheel. Yeah. Taking off with that three goal lead, I love Ducks. A second touch to try and get that over the Greatest Harbor defense, but it doesn't fool them if KJ passes that to Shadow. Kremlin's with a back touch going right to Shadow, and Ghost has the goal. There's a the nice attempt by Gremlin to block that. I love Ducks almost getting there, and Ghost finishing off what Shadow Bane gave them. Off with the four goal lead, this time Bluffs might be able to grab the ball. It's actually Gremlin pushing that upfield this time. Shadow popping that up around the wall. Gremlins with a carry over KJ doesn't quite work, but Ducks clears it all the way out to the Grace Harbor wall. Wub might be able to score this from that side angle, but Shadow is there to clear it. I love Ducks waiting, putting that off to the side, but passes it right to KJ and right into the net. KJ getting a wonderful angle on that. Wub's not quite there in time, but nice attempt by Wub. Ducks winning that 50. And we are back in the game. Looks like in the time that we were gone, Gray's Harbor College found themselves up by six goals. They're looking to make that seven, but I love Ducks. It is there. Gremlins and Ducks pushing up off the backboard, but Gremlins not able to score that setup. It is a little bit of pain for the Gogebic team, despite how well they played. Seems like they were not able to get anything going. Last 15 seconds here goes with a fancy air dribble. Gremlins saving Shadow's shot. Taking that one down the field. I love Ducks waiting in the middle with the wub, but they can't quite get to the ball on time as it hits the ground and ends the game. And uh, just a quick check for my friends here. Paka, you managed to get back into the game too? Mm -hmm. A little bit of a neck canary. But um, I think Ogapic is doing a wonderful job trying to defend. I love Dex is able to get the ball over to the side and Gloves and Gremlins are both able to follow through, which is kind of funny. You're right, and compared to the last game, uh, Grace Harbor College only scored six goals instead of their eight. So that could mean that Gogebic's defense is even better than it was before. That's for sure. I think I remember from the previous game, Isle of Ducks had control of the ball, and there was a demo for, I think, Wub. But that demo actually cleared the way for Ducks, and it was able to get Ducks further down the field on the blue side. 
Yeah, you uh, you got your wish granted. There were a lot of demos this game, enough that uh, I couldn't count all of them and keep track of all of them. Last game is obviously just the one demo, but this one seems like they got a lot more physical. You know, these demos are actually, like, they're 50-50 because they play either to either team, really. Like, as I mentioned before, the one demo from their own team ended up clearing a path for them, so who knows? Who knows indeed. The, that's the conclusion of the second game out of this best of seven. Uh, it's going to get harder for... It's going to get easier for Grace Harbor to take it home. They only have to win two more games to clutch this round in the quarters and move on to the next one. That is true. But Gogepic is coming back with a strong defense with every kickoff that we've seen. They're able to win a few kickoffs and follow through with a few of those. So it looks like the biggest thing we're going to be looking for in the series is can Gogepic get a goal of their own? I'm rooting for them. I hope they can get a goal of their own. Put uh, Grace Harbor on the defense. I'd like to see their defense, too. We did see their backboard defense a lot of times. Gergepik would try and shoot, and either their shot missed or they were intentionally hitting the backboard. But every single time, Grace Harbor ended up clearing the ball out. So really, Gergepik couldn't even set up passes for themselves. That is true. Grace Harbor is doing an excellent job keeping control of the ball as well. Even if it's out of their control, they're able to get it back in their control pretty rapidly. Sorry, folks, a little bit of a connection issue. And now that Arjun's back, I believe we're getting into our third game. Yes, indeed. Thank you for bringing us in, Pacna. Kicking off this time, Gremlins had control for a second. Ghosts steals that, so that's up a pass for a teammate, but nobody's there, so it's Ducks and Gremlins. Ducks has the ball around the corner if they can just make contact here, but they can't quite, Shadow's gonna hit that one. There was quite a bit of traffic jam there, so it was kind of hard for me to see. But Ghost following through Shadow being set up. Traffic jam. Looks like Gray's Harbor College has another one of those early starts as Ghost gets another hit off of the kickoff onto the backboard into KJ, and this time Wub is able to save it. Not able to get a second touch to clear it out, though, Bane puts on some pressure. Ducks with a slow push out. KJ challenges that one. It is up high in the air. Ghost gets one touch. Wub and Ducks bumping each other, but able to clear it out, not enough. Shadow into Gremlins with another great save. Wub trying for the solo play, gets stolen by KJ as they're coming around the corner here. Goes with the slow play and pass out to Shadow, but Gremlins turn to steal it. I love Ducks and Gremlins getting into their own traffic jam in the corner. Ducks has full boost, but is in front of the ball. Shadow with another shot. Wubs is able to save that. Ghost coming in for another attempt. Another save from Gremlin. That's like five saves for the Gogebic side already, and it's only been one minute and 30 seconds. And now Gogebic is keeping their defenses strong. Shadow being taking advantage of a nice open goal. Despite but Gogepic is doing a wonderful work. job. Yeah. Yeah. They were able to hold him off this long, so... This kickoff going to the blue backboard. Gremlins and Ducks trying to push that in. Ducks and Wubs off to drive back instead, though. Grace Harbor in possession of the ball. KJ up in the air. To the backboard and to Shadow for the shot. It's wide though. Gremlin's gonna try and make a play off of the wall there. The mechanics are not quite there, so I love Ducks is gonna try and follow up. Goes clearing that one out. Passing off the back wall to KJ, and it's another wide shot. Shadow Bane here for a rebound to Ghost to the net.
my goodness, and that's a nice 10 from Wub if Wub was a little too the right, I believe. They would have been able to knock that ball out. We're going to support pick up here. Ghost and KJ up in the corner there. I love Ducks demoing Ghost and Wub with a save. This could be an opportunity for Go Epic, but Ghost is going to come in high and fast to try and put that in on their own. Shadow Bane to the back wall again. KJ with another shot attempt. It's not quite in yet as Ducks clears it out and dribbles it off of the back wall. Shadow pushing that up to themselves, but no team makes to follow up on it. Well, beating Ghost to that 50, if Ducks can get this in the net, it could be a goal. The Shadow clears it away. Well, with another shot attempt, another pass attempt, all of them are shut down as Ghost clears it downfield. Gremlins with the narrow pinch save to stop that one from becoming a goal, though KJ still has it going. That was a wonderful pinch by Gremlins there. Nice attempt by Wub and KJ following through. Finish off goals, Ghost setup. A four goal lead as this kicks off. Ducks ends up giving that one to KJ. Wub makes the save off of KJ's dribble. Looking good so far. Their shadow might be here to finish it on their own. My goodness, it is so tense. The Go is doing a wonderful job with defending. But then Grace Harbor just slipping in there, taking advantage of that triple commit at the end there. I love Ducks. Has that kickoff, but Ghost steals it and puts it into the Go side. And Shadow with another shot. This time it is wide, and Ducks and Love pushing it down the field. KJ driving around for boot, popping that one up for a teammate. Ghost has the hit. And Kremlin's demoing Ghost before they can take that shot. Wub's gonna try and put that downfield. Ducks might have the shot here. It's on target, but Ghost takes it again and throws it across field. Just one minute remaining. Gugavik's doing a wonderful job keeping them out from getting that last point. Keeping it back and forth. Hopefully they can keep this up. Shadowbane knocking the ball. Wolves attempting to get the ball. KJ knocking it back over to the off to Orange. Isle of Ducks can control the ball. Hopefully they can knock it out of their side of the field. Revelin's following through. Oh, nice demo there. Maybe not the backboard. I love Ducks going in for it. Ghost going up. And Ghost scored. A little bit of a double commit like there off. by Go Gavik. The Ghost took advantage of that. So close. So we can install the ball. I love Ducks taking control of that. KJ knocking it out from the net. Ghost is going for it while Gremlins have control again and hopefully they can score a goal in the last 7 seconds. Wub's getting control of the ball, KJ knocking it back. Could Gremlins get the ball in time? Knocking into the corner. That's another sweep for Grey's Harbor. Yes, indeed. The exact same scoreline as the last game. A 6-0. Ghost scoring 3 goals, Shadowbane scoring 2 and KJ scoring one. Meanwhile, Gugebic still has the zeros on the scoreboard. And Paka, thank you for taking over the play-by-play -play for a second for me. I think you absolutely killed it. And you pointed out some things that I didn't notice before. Um, the double commits that we were talking about earlier. The fact that Gogebic has what they need to maybe get a goal of their own but that sometimes they get too caught up in each other's place. For sure. I mean, this game, they were able to get uh, Grace Harbor onto the defense a couple of times, which is really good for Gogebic. Um, but yes, as I said, I believe there are a few double commits and triple commits here and there. So just cleaning that up, 
and polishing it will probably give him another advantage and hopefully get that one score or a couple more scores. Who knows? Still anybody's game? Yep, and this puts us on match point, though. All Grace Harbor needs is one more game to win this entire series and move on in the bracket. Meanwhile, Gogebic still needs to win four more games to continue moving on today. We are heading back to U.S. East, uh, doing the good old U.S. East, U.S. West server flip-flop, and we're going to have to see who that server ends up benefiting for this potentially final game. For sure. I'm excited, though. A lot of clean, fast movements I've been noticing by both teams. So there, everyone's rushing back and forth. Aerials are flying everywhere, so it's been quite entertaining. Well, it is just one large traffic jam, after all. Nothing I expect less from car soccer, so... While we're waiting for the teams to hop in and be ready on the field, any other advice that you think you could give to either team on how to step up their game? Hmm. I believe that Grace Harbor might need to like rotate between their players and to take advantage of everyone. I guess I, I see a lot of potential in all the players, but the spotlight has been on a couple of the players so far. So I'd like to see more talent, more potential come out from the other teammates. I believe that goes for both. Uh, I'd like to see Gogebic on the offense more and more. They're doing a good job of that, getting onto the offense, winning a few of these kickoffs. They just need to follow through with their shots and coordinate. All good points. This is a team sport for a reason. We are kicking off to game four here. Shadowbane already looking strong off of the kickoff, dribbling that one upfield. KJ into Ghost with another dribble into a goal. There's a clean aerial by Ghost going over Gremlins, Wolf, and I Love Ducks. Might have been a misclick by Isle of Ducks instead of the aerial, but still anyone's game. Gremlin's trying to push that one up solo. KJ ends up clearing it out. So Isle of Ducks might be able to use their boost to make this a shot. Go steals that path before anyone on Kogebe can even try and get to it. Gremlins and Ducks clearing that out. KJ with another steal, just taking possession at any opportunity, and goes with a shot with the angle. It's a nice attempt by Gremlins, though, to try and get that ball out of there, but not quite making it in time. This kickoff going straight to the Gogebic side. Shadow has the shot, but it's a bit too wide. Ghost is going to try and set that up for KJ. Demos love for respawning on the left side of the field, right behind the ball. But Ghost is still able to win that victory and turn it into a path for Shadow and into a goal. Uh, I love Ducks trying to make it in time. A little too late, but it's alright. Out of main gremlins so close. They just took advantage and just put it right in there. And Grays Harbor College with the three goal lead with just about one minute on the clock path. Shadow and Ghost with another shot attempt this time. Wob is able to clear it out to the corner. Goes right to KJ into the other corner. A bit of relief for Gogebic here, though not for long as Ghost tries to dribble that in. Messes it up, giving Gogebic some time to respond and try and get this out of their half. The Shadow Bane and Ghost just coming in too fast for anyone to do anything. It's off the backboard, Bub saves KJ's shot, looking impressive as usual on the defense. The Shadow passes that up to Ghost. Another save from Gremlin. There's so much pressure that Grace Harbor is putting on right now, and Gogebic is doing a decent job at taking it out. Oh, 
find the gang Grace Harbor on the deep. I love ducks falling to ball into the corner. KJ knocking it out towards Ghost. Ghost for the aerial. Hopefully they can get that in. Oh, it's off the backboard. Shadow Bane almost falling through with it, but Gremlin's interrupting them. I love Ducks had control of the ball, passing off to Gremlin, but could they get control of the ball again? Who knows, Ghost taking the ball. KJ falling behind. Nice dribble by then, set up, and then KJ following through with Ghost set up. Another one of those good team plays, Ghost keeping Gremlins this game and three goal, three games in this best of seven series. Ducks is gonna try and push that one in past Shadow Bane, but the defense is a solid. A counter attack between Ghost and whoever is in the middle. Shadow Bane gonna try and turn that one around. KJ off to the wall, off to himself, onto the back wall, and up to Ghost waiting in the air. It is wide, but Shadow Bane is there for a finish. Nice double bouncer there. Couldn't quite get it in the first time, so Shadow Bane, nice follow through. Nice attempt by Gremlins, though. Scoring their fifth goal. Love beating Shadow to the ground. Shadow 50ing that right back in. KJ up in the air, setting that up for a teammate that isn't there yet. Shadow coming in for the shot, can't hit it. Ghost does get control. Gremlins and Wub might be able to touch the ball here, but they are too slow to it. This could be a goal, but KJ skillfully dribbles it out of the danger zone. Instead of setting it up for Ghost, uh, not quite in the neck, and Wub's get it out. I love that. Still bouncing off the backboard. It's a close one. Wub's knocking it out. KJ pushing it back. Ghost trying to follow up. It's Gremlins trying to defend. And Ghost taking advantage of the open net. I love Ducks trying to get there in time, and Wubs as well, but not quite. Isla's Duck Chart. Nice demo by Isla's Duck, but not quite enough. But it's alright. Ghost able to make that goal despite the demo. Eighth kickoff here. AJ winning the 50 50. And just a clean sweep by Shadow Van as well. Looks like Grace Harbor are looking to take this to a 10 goal game with the rate that they've been scoring goals recently. We're gonna have to see how this kickoff goes. For sure. KJ winning the kickoff. Ghost trying to follow through, but it's blocked. Gremlins going in. I love Ducks hopefully following through. Gremlins passing, maybe. Keeping that ball in the corner. It is a close one. I love Ducks hopefully keeping the ball in the air. KJ getting control of it again. And that is game. Oh my stars. And not just game, but that series, Grays Harbor winning their fourth consecutive game means that they are moving on to the next round of the bracket for today. Uh, big congrats to Ghost, Shadow Bane, and KJ, and of course, GG's to Gogebic. Uh, looks like in a second here, we're going to be having an interview, a celebrity interview. Ooh, that's exciting.
just realized I'm muted. Sorry. Thank you guys for letting me know. Um, so as I was saying, that we are going to be bringing in um, one of the members from Grace Harbor College. We're going to be bringing in Shadow Bane for a brief interview. Uh, he is a freshman and team captain of them. And speaking of Grace Harbor College, they look very good out on the field, wouldn't you guys say? For sure. Yeah, we're just waiting to get word of him joining up. But uh, while we do have a moment, we are going to be taking a brief intermission here before we get on to our quarterfinal match. Uh, we will be having uh, Jackson College joining us, going up against Nassau, who had their first round by. Um, so we will have that one coming up in the quarterfinals. Jackson got a sweep over Jefferson. So we will see how things go for that. Still just... Waiting on. Uh, so what are some takeaways you guys have for Grace Harbor College looking into their next round match? I think they just have to keep doing what they were doing. It looks like they were uh, perfectly fine on the field right there. Really no obstacles in their way. Of course, there was the other team, but it wasn't that much of a problem for them. Yeah, from what I could tell watching uh, just as a third person, it, their consistency was phenomenal. They were able to take advantage of every touch they got. They had phenomenal speed and were able to rotate around very quickly. Uh, it looks like I am getting word, however, that we are ready for Shadowbane to join us. Uh, so we should be adding him in here shortly. There he is. Welcome, Shadowbane. Congratulations on the first round win. And how are you guys feeling after that one? Feeling pretty good about it. Um, we guess still got some stuff to work out, but we we definitely feel good going forward. Uh, so, Pocket, do you have any questions for Shadow Bay? Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, even though you did win the first game, our uh, first rounds, uh, what are you looking to improve on from what you just played? Um, basically, consistency with the touches, um, spacing from one. We don't want to. Yeah interrupt our, our spacing with each other and uh, we definitely want to be passing a little more precisely. All right, and so RJ, do you have, have anything? Sorry about that, Shadow. Oh, we got sorry. it. Sorry. So when, when we have uh, people back, we have precisely pass always that are taking shots from midfield. So RJ, do you have anything for Shadow Bay? Yeah, I was going to ask, how do you keep your mentality intact when you're playing tough games? Like, how do you stop yourself from getting tilted? Um, I just, I just, it's, I just remember it's a game, and mainly just, just focus on the fundamentals, basically. 